they've sustained and put together some long drives as a result of the turnovers of the Bears. First and ten for Oregon. Bears showing the blitz. Here comes Burwell. Burwell may go all the way to the end zone. He does. Touchdown, Oregon. The Bears kind of gambling with the blitz, and when you do that, when you get past that first wave, there's not anybody in the secondary to stop you, and Sean Burwell comes up with a touchdown, and I would say the Ducks answered very uh, decisively there after Cal had grabbed the quick momentum in the third quarter. Yeah, you got it, Joe. You know, when you, when you get inside of 20, teams anticipate blitzes, and uh, both guys inside backers coming in, Joyner and Willard, and Burwell gets past the line of scrimmage, and uh, nobody touches him. A 13-yard run by Burwell, and that quiets everyone. 11-18 left in the third quarter. Still lots of time, but Oregon negates that last yeah. touchdown by the Bears. You see already shaking his head there, and that's that's the price you pay sometimes when you gamble. You just create huge voids there. And a, and a back like Burwell has got big, big play potential on every down. And the Ducks will go for two here as they put three wide receivers to the right. And O'Neal looks like he's changing the play. They give it to Burwell, and Burwell gets in for the two. So Burwell gets in for the two right in front of the contingent from Eugene who made it down here for this ball game, and they are on their feet and clapping, and it's 38 to 14 now. Oregon leading with 11-18 left in the third quarter. Now you've got a man in motion here. Uh, three wide receivers to the right. Well, actually, this is the touchdown run. You can see Paul Joyner and, and Willard just came up field, and Burwell was able to, to get through that first wave, as we'd mentioned, past the line of scrimmage. And look, watch the two inside guys. They kind of do a little stunt inside. Joyner just isn't able to get over there. Uh, Burwell's speed is, is just too much for Dante DiPaolo or Joyner. Well, and that's an example of how you do gamble whenever you blitz people and stunt like that. If the play's going to that direction, then you have it pretty well stuffed up. But if it's not... It's the gamble that you take. And this is the two-point conversion. Duck try, trying to get back that point. They, uh, they lost on the extra point earlier in the game. They had three wide receivers to the wide side, spreading things out again. 